What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, yeah, so, uh, um, Erislandi Lara versus Brian Castano is, is going to be a, a, a build up fight. And it's looking, it's going to take place December 22nd on Jamel Charlo, Jamal Charlo undercard at the Barclay Center in hopes of setting up a future fight between. Uh, Jamal Jamel Charlo and Erislandi Lara. So they're looking to put Erislandi Lara on the undercard of Jamal and Jamel Charlo's December 22nd card at the Brooklyn Barclays Center in hopes of Jamel Charlo beating um, Harrison and uh, Erislandi Lara beating Brian Castano and, and setting up a fight between Jamel Charlo and um, Erislandi Lara which has been rumored for a very long time. And I told you guys that Bryant, um, that uh, uh, Jarrett Swift Heard wouldn't be taking on a tough fight like that. We see Jarrett Heard is going to be taking on um, a fighter of a, of a lesser caliber December 1st on Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury undercard. Um, and probably after that, you'll probably get a fight like uh, uh, Jarrett Swift Heard. I told you guys a step-up fight which would probably be in the likes of, of uh, um, uh, Erickson Lubin, which Erickson Lubin is not a, a tune-up. It's not a step-up fight for anybody. But Erickson Lubin, uh, is, that would be his step-up fight, again, since being knocked out by Jamel Charlo himself. So it's, it's like a, a comeback, you know, step-up fight for both Erickson Lubin and Jarrett Swift Heard. That would be, you know, the perfect setup to set up the winner of that fight to fight the winner of Jamal Charlo, Jamel Charlo, and uh, Erislandi Lara, because you know people still will, will want to see a, a rematch between Erislandi Lara and Jarrett Swift her seeing as though a lot of people thought that Erislandi Lara was winning that fight until he got knocked down in the twelfth round, and that proved to be the difference in the fight. Also, um, people would love to see uh, Jarrett Heard versus Jamel Charlo. You know, so uh, Jarrett Heard wins that fight versus Erickson and people would love to see a rematch between Erickson Lubin and Jamel Charlo as well seeing as though you know a lot of people felt like it was a lucky punch I thought it was a calculated punch that knocked um Erickson Lubin out you know um but a lot of people felt like it was a lucky punch Erickson Lubin himself felt like he didn't get the shot you know he didn't live up to the building so you know it's a it's like a, a mini tournament almost in 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 some um aspects you know so they're looking to put Erislandi Lara versus Brian Castano on the undercard of Jamel Jamal Charlo um, fights. Uh, we know Jamal Charlo is fighting Willie Monroe Jr. in hopes of getting a middleweight title um, shot versus either Canelo Alvarez or um, uh, uh, Demetrius Andre, maybe even Danny Jacobs. You know, um, the more uh, uh, likely opponent would be Danny Jacobs in that situation. But that's yet to be seen. But Jamel Charlo, like I told you, he's fighting Tony Harrison, which is a, a good, a great stay busy fight because Tony Harrison in two fights he lost <clears throat> and being stopped by um, Jared Hurd, he was winning that fight until the stoppage. And I forgot the other guy he was fighting, but he was winning that fight until he got stopped. Uh, so that's a that's a great stay busy fight for Jamel Charlo. And then, you know, the setup for them, for Jamel Charlo to be on the same card as Erickson Lubin, I mean, as um, uh, 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 Erislan De Lara to set up a fight, a future showdown between Erislan De Lara and Jamel Charlo is, is, is great news. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this all come to fruition. The boxing fans deserve it. The sport of boxing deserves it, you know? Um, and it's looking the, the future of the sport of boxing in 2019 is looking bright, especially in this division, the super welterweight division or the junior middleweight division, however you look at it. But a fight between Erislan De Lara and Jamel Charlo is going to be, um, in the build up and hopes, you know, they, they're looking to put Erislandi Lara versus Brian Castillo, Castano on the undercard December 22nd at the Barclay Center where Jamel Charlo will be taking on Tony Harris. So this is a great build up to that fight. And we'll probably get that fight sometime in the spring of 2019. And then in the summer of 2019, if uh, Jamel Charlo is victorious against Erislandi Lara, then uh, and um, we see maybe Jared Hurd take on Erickson Lubin and be victorious because he's uh, uh, fighting a light touch uh, guy. You can't overlook anybody, but he's fighting a light touch guy in um, December 1st. 
So, you know, they, they be both become victorious, then we have something to look forward to. Maybe a Eric's, um, Eric's, a Jarvis Swift Hurd versus Jamel Charlo in the summer of 2019. So, you know, that's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Bud Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bud Sports TV, all in word. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. So they, in um, hopes to build up a fight between Arislandi Lara and Jamel Charlo, they will be putting Arislandi Lara on the under card of Jamel Charlo versus Tony Harris and Jamal Charlo versus uh, Willie Monroe Jr. December 22nd, Brooklyn Barclays Center. Stay tuned. Any new notific any new updates, I'll be make I'll be sure to uh, drop that new information on y'all. Make sure you like and share this video. That's all I got. Peace.